What's up troopers, my name is Neon. Did DICE finally listen to the community? Before we get into the video troopers, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Nearly 70% of people watch my content but are not subscribed. That is a high percentage. So if you are in that 70%, then please subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on the future content. At the start, when Battlefield 2042 came out, it honestly felt like we was all just speaking to a brick wall. But are we finally actually getting someone on the other end of that wall who is listening? You guys have to let me know if you do believe that DICE is finally listening to us. So it's been over a week now since season 2 has came out. I've done loads of content, so many guide videos, and honestly, it's been doing pretty well. So everyone supporting the channel, thank you very much. But playing season 2, of course, for me, my personal opinion, I felt like it really wasn't enough, especially the weapons and even just having one map. But the thing is, when I play Stranded, I feel like DICE kind of listened to us a bit. Because we was all talking about the lack of cover and just how the flow of the map just didn't really work. Maybe this map Stranded is a lot more different because of the flow of the map is more focused on infantry but it's probably one of my favorite maps in 2042 to play because when you can play this you can stick right in the middle stay nitty and gritty all them gunfights or you could be in the outside as well and also have very successful gunfights i feel like this is the only map where actually it flows out pretty well you don't feel like you're getting overwhelmed by choppers or any type of vehicles and the one thing what blows my mind as well is just the fact is the amount of cover you can actually have in this game i still feel like they need to prove a bit more in their cover because let's be real on stranded everything is just crates all the time so hopefully they can get a bit more unique with their cover i still feel like that battle for fire system where you can add your own cover would work out pretty well in a game like this just go a lot more extreme so you can build your own cover in the game so the flow of the map can always keep changing that would be something quite interesting there's so many different things on the map where it's actually just cover like look at this bit over here i'm just walking by and the amount of like cover you have the sandbanks and it just kind of stops you getting flanked from the sides but then you go and look at maps like hourglass and just look at it where's really the cover look how open it is all over here and then you actually have some cover over there it's really just not enough. I'm super in the open. I'm even against bots. And look at this. Even the bots are even farming me. But with them reworking on Orbit and Renew, can they actually fix majority of the maps? Kaleidoscope obviously had that update itself where it improved it. And yes, it did give it a bit more cover. But I just feel like how the map is just designed in general, it was just too late when it comes to cover. But maybe in the future Battlefield, they actually just work on the maps a lot more. And they work on more cover, just like how it is on Stranded. Maybe they can make some good maps in the next battlefield but that's what i'm saying troopers is dice actually listening to us now do you think they can actually improve on 2042 or do you think this is just no hope this game is just completely screwed and it just never succeeds or do you think it's going to be kind of like battlefield 5 where the game was kind of in a rough stage at the start and then it kind of improved i really wish that they did carry on with battlefield 5 but that is what it is anyway troopers thank you very much for listening to me talk if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like comment subscribe to be a part of the pink wigami and i'll see you troopers in the next video Peace.